Right now, an elderly woman has been told she must find a new apartment by August 3rd. Problem is the apartment she's in is a mold nightmare and she hasn't been able to find someplace else to live. So her family called on us to take action and hold someone responsible. Antonia Tejada is pretty independent for an 89 year old. She takes care of her own bills at an apartment where she lives alone with her companion Chiquita. Turn around. The clock is ticking as her days are numbered. Cancer. She had uh, breast cancer last year. They removed her breast and right now they told her that it's terminal. Still family and friends say Antonia gets around just fine even though she's been spending her days and nights in a mold infested apartment. It's about to fall off. Uh, the cover up on the top of the bathtub and the bathroom. She goes to use the bathroom and it's leaking on her back and on right here on her where she sits on the toilet. We've, it's been uh, brought to the attention of the apartment several times and uh, they refuse to do anything. The smell alone is unbearable. A sight in the restroom and bedroom closet atrocious. The management at Bonaventure Apartments has now evicted the poor woman who is living in the stinky and healthy apartment out of boxes now since she hasn't been able to find another housing development that has room. This list of apartment complexes we called every single week you know and stuff and list on both sides and there's no openings there's no openings so what is she supposed to do stay like this and keep on feeling you know sick uh, for the for months and months to come, you know, we don't know how long she's going to be here. She could be with us for a few weeks, a few months, or a few years. God willing. I went straight to management with the issues. They say they cannot give Antonia an extension to stay, but told me they would drop everything and go to her apartment to try to fix it up for the time she's still living there. She still needs a place to call home so she can live out the rest of her life comfortably, however long that might be. Well, Action 4 News is not satisfied knowing Antonia won't have a place to live come August 3rd. We did put a call into Adult Protective Services today. We are waiting for a call back to see what more can be done for Antonia. I also posted this story and pictures of her and the mold online early on to get the feel from residents as well to see if anyone out there has any ideas of where she can stay. Find it now, Facebook.com slash Action 4 News Marcy, on Twitter at Marcy KGBT.